It's March Madness time, let's go. What's up guys, MTG Jedi here, how you doing today? If you know me, then you know that I love basketball, and it is March, so we are going to be diving into March Madness on my channel here. I'm just collecting some rewards here, you know, the daily stuff. Um, and obviously that means we're going to go insane with spending money after the February freeze, right? Wrong, no. <laughs> no, definitely not. But... At least tentatively, okay? Raid's fifth anniversary is coming up here. As you can tell, I'm still not 100% better, so I'm gonna drink some coffee and try to clear my throat. But in addition to talking about all of the money stuff from February and being transparent with you with what I spent in February, I'm not going to do this every month, but if you have questions about what to buy or what I'm buying, you can always ask. We talk about this all the time in my Discord, and there's a link in the description of every video to join my Discord. The other thing I wanted to talk about this morning is actual March Madness. Um, if you are like me and you like basketball, then you probably want to get involved with something March Madness. I am going to be doing my own bracket group for the basketball tournament, and I will have that information once they're released. And anybody who participates in that for the duration of the event, uh, anybody who sets their bracket, etc., then you will be entered into a gem giveaway. So if you want to do a fun March Madness basketball bracket with me and have some fun, you will also have the opportunity to win some gems. So now on to the main topic of this video, which is what happened in February. I know that some of you know that I went over my budget, but I will say um, after this hilarious thumbnail... Um, I didn't really go over my budget, okay? I, I went over the amount that I stated that I was going to try to stick to. That is absolutely true. But as with me in general, I do have a buffer. You know, I have money that I can spend more than that if I need to, depending on what I need to make content on. <clears throat> And I really felt like I needed to make content on Prism Shards, so I did that. Also, I wanted to, so I did that. But let's jump into what did I actually buy and why. Alright, so the first thing that I almost always buy every single month is the monthly pack. It is just a good, decent deal on all of the shards. You get energy, you get gems, it's all the things that you need, really. There are sacred shards in there that are inflating it. However, sacred shards are very helpful, especially for me making content, being able to do fusions, etc. So I buy this every single month. And I think that if you're going to buy shards outside of a really special, like, deal for a holiday, this is probably where you should start. Like, if you want to buy shards, start with that. And then if your budget is bigger than that, then move on. The second thing I bought was some void shards in order to be able to complete that guaranteed void. I mean, I would have bought the whole void string pack if I needed to, to get that guy. Uh, I still haven't geared him yet, which I need to do. But I've been playing so much on the free-to-play, you know, that I didn't have time, really. Um, but I bought this. It's a good deal. This is... I don't know what this triggers for, to be honest with you. I haven't been able to figure it out. Either you're spending money or you're level 100. I think it's one of those two things. If you get this pack and you're not one of those two things, then let me know so that I can reassess. But it's $2.5 per Void Shard, which is not the best, but it's a decent rate that you can always get. And it's only Void Shards. Like, you're not, you're not having any other fluff in the pack, which is nice. The third thing that I bought, which is this same type of uh, energy pack that has multiple different pictures, 
but this is like the best rate for energy in the game currently, which is shocking because it's a personal pack builder. Most of the personal pack builders suck. They're terrible, okay? Um, but this, I purchased only one. Uh, in the past, I've purchased three so that I could whale out on energy. Uh, I've been trying to be more conservative with that. But at some point, I need to purchase multiple of these and just farm the crap out of Sand Devil. So at some point, I'll be doing that. I didn't do that this time. The next thing I bought was the Void Shards to finish that. I think I needed maybe five or ten at most. It was between 5 to 10, and all of the other deals were absolute garbage. So I ended up spending more than what I really wanted here on this, but it was the best rate for Void Shards at the time, and so I just got a couple extra. And the next thing that I got was the Super Bowl pack. Um, I do try to buy Primal Shards, but this was pretty expensive. It ended up helping me out because the void shards from this went towards that, um, that guaranteed. But also, the ancient shards I still I was able to use for an event. The primal shards I was able to use for an event. So this was outside of my comfort zone for the budget. However, it did end up paying off, and I still do have some of those shards. So I would say I didn't even really use this entire pack. Um, in general, I'm trying to avoid string packs because they're just it's expensive in general. Next up was Outside the Budget. This was the extension for the Prism Shards. Um, I'm still glad that I was able to do that. I think you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I don't know that it really turned out that well for me. Now I have an army of Septimuses. Uh, but yeah, you, you can go back and watch that video. It's it's pretty fun. Um, I think that it's stupid that we can't earn Prism Crystals. It's really stupid. And every time a Prism Crystal event comes out, I always think, should I boycott this event? Every time. And so I don't like the execution. If I was running Raid, then... You know, once every couple months, I would do a Prism Crystal event and a Prism Shard event. And there would be Prism Shards. There would be no, nothing less than a shard, okay? You could only earn one shard or more. And I would put them all over the place. Like, think about a tournament where every reward is Prism Crystals. Or an event where every reward is Prism Crystals. Or go play the game and you earn random prism crystals from doing things. It would just be like that would be a sweet thing to do for the fifth anniversary player. That would be just message me, get me on a call, and I will tell you how to set this up. Tell me you wouldn't love that. Everybody would love it. People would come back, people would start new accounts. It would be amazing. It would be amazing. The next thing I bought, oh, hmm. Maybe the first time I bought this was just for 2x voids, and then the second time was for the guaranteed. I think that's right. Um, so that all adds up to a whale's amount of $735. That was $235 above my budget. But again, I do have some wiggle room, okay? I, I was prepared to go even higher than that if needed. Um, <laughs> in the past, there have been months where I've spent more than that, if I'm being honest. Uh, so 735 is really what my budget was for February. And yes, that was above, but really the only thing that was above was the, the prism shards. If you cut out the prism shards, that gets me back down to the, uh, you know, the normal budget that I had set. So I was one shard video above my budget. So with that being said, if you want to help me stick to my budget going forward, which... I'm going to try to stick to 500, but in all honesty, I don't know if I'll be able to keep it that low. Uh, I'm going to try, though. I'm going to try because I know that me sticking to my budget and talking about this has helped a lot of you guys also. And remember, if you don't have money to spend on this game, just don't spend money. Like, you know, keep it very low spend or don't spend any money. Free-to-play is still awesome in this game. You just have to be patient, okay? 
a free to play or low spend and i'm going to talk about that in a moment um so with that being said if you want to help me out stick to my budget when you save up a bunch of shards for a long amount of time and you're excited about event message me and i'll make a youtube video on your account some of you have been really excited about that some of you we've already done collaborations on your account you know we did 400 ancients or something i know a couple other people are saving for things and i'd be happy to do a video on your account as well next up the daily gem pack this is really for march and so i put it after but technically i purchased this in february okay same thing with the next one here this was the one that i needed for the guaranteed but most of these shards went towards um the next month which is march and so i don't really count this in my budget i guess that first one was 2x voids okay so i got a little bit mixed up there then we have that same energy pack again with just the normal you know art okay again this is really counts towards march but technically i did purchase it in february so if you add up all of those things that i purchased in february technically that's 905 dollars money doesn't grow on trees but sometimes it feels like it so if i deduct those things that i spent for march in february that's 170 dollars that i've already purchased for march and so i'm gonna try to keep that in mind um it might not affect things i might still have to spend more but that's where we're at right now and i wanted to be fully transparent this month with you guys if you appreciate that make sure you hit the like button and let me know about it in the comments below last but not least i wanted to mention the forge pass here i will be purchasing that whenever that comes out and this is the first thing that i would purchase if i was low spend I would be purchasing the forge pass i don't know if i would purchase the forge pass every time it comes out but once for every set and then if i had a favorite set then i would purchase that multiple times like for me i went through a phase where i absolutely loved instinct gear and that's what this one is here in the picture by the way and i still do love instinct gear by the way I have been on many people's accounts for takeovers where Instinct was their best gear, period. Um, and you can see, uh, hilariously, the person whose account they're on for the Forge Pass also has trouble with silver. 50,000 silver. So it's the testers, too, that have problems with silver, not just the players, Plarium. But I know you're going to watch this, Plarium. So fix the silver problem in the game so people want to buy and farm more gear. They can't do that if they don't have silver but the forge pass gives you a silver boost the forge pass gives you free gear and rewards glyphs all of that stuff i personally think that the forge pass is the best value in the game and then the second and for me second place is the daily gem pack you can argue one or the other i got a lot of pushback from people saying the daily gem pack was the best fair play okay for me that's not true though okay for me i would rather purchase the forge pass and just save gems but those are the two things that i would buy uh about every six weeks or so you know so that's thirty dollars every month and a half ish or you know however you want to do it if you want to play this game low spend those are the two things that i would purchase with the forge pass being the most important in my opinion because you can't get this gear you cannot get this gear good six star gear you can't get it unless you buy the forge pass which i know that's a paywall i get it but also i think that it's worth it but please let me know what you think in the comments below uh, I would love to hear from you guys about what your feelings are. If you feel like I'm a filthy, dirty whale from, uh, you know, going over all of that, let me know. And hopefully you're enjoying the free-to-play content here that I'm providing with this new account. I have some exciting things I'm going to be doing here on this account. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel for this content as well as the other things. Uh, message me if you want put on the list for the March Madness bracket. 
Um, excited to do that and create that group for you guys. Uh, so let me know if you're excited about that too. Thank you so much for watching. I'm MTG Jedi. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.